Hey, this is Raven with Talon Survival. Today we're going to talk about how to access the NOAA weather radio channels on your ham radio. Most ham radios that can monitor the VHF spectrum will allow you to tune this frequency in, but not all. We're going to kind of go over that today to show you how to find out if your radio is capable. If you're not familiar with the NOAA All Hazards Weather Radio Program, NOAA offers seven frequencies that are available across the country, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, constantly providing local forecasts, watches, and warning information for your local area. Those seven frequencies are FM Wideband, and our 162.4 megahertz, 162.425 megahertz, 162.450 megahertz, 162.475 megahertz, 162.5 megahertz, 162.525, and 162.550. We also have these quick cards available for you to download and print from our website. We've included the link below. So we're going to focus on how to tune these radio channels in rather than how to program them into your memory. Now, why is that important? Certain radios have limit, especially older models, have limited number of channel spaces available. For example, some of the Chinese radios also have limited channel capabilities. The very popular Bofeng UV5R only has 128 channels available. If you're trying to program a lot of repeaters, a lot of simplex frequencies, things like that, seven frequencies used for a receive-only channel uh, can be utilized in a number of different uh, other capable areas when you can just tune this in from the frequency mode. So we're going to go over that now. The three radios that we're going to utilize are the Bofeng UV5R, the Yezu FT60, and the Wusan KG UV6D. Now there's one other benefit to doing these using the tune feature rather than programming into memory, and that is if you program these into memory and you forget to turn off or skip this channel when you configure your scan settings, you basically made your scan inoperable. And if you don't know how to go in via the face programming and turn that scan function off for that memory channel, then you're, you've, you're out of luck in the field. So what happens is as you go through scan, they're constantly transmitting on this weather channel. So as you go through your scan, it's going to hit and stop on that weather frequency and stay there. So let's start with the Bofeng UV5R. So first we're going to power it up. As you can see on this radio, I'm in channel mode currently. I need to change this to VFO mode or frequency mode, depending on the radio you're, used, you're using. So we'll hit the VFO MR button to change, but if you notice, it's not changing. So that's because we have our keypad locked. You can see the lock up in the top right hand corner. So we're going to press our pound button and hold it down to unlock. Now we'll press our VFO MR button to take us into the VFO or frequency mode. Now that we're there, we can punch in directly on the keypad one of our weather channels. So we'll start with 162.400 megahertz. And now you can hear the weather alerts. If this, if we didn't have a signal here, we can just work our way up. It's going to take me a little while because I have my radio set for the 2.5 kilohertz step for frequency. The other option would also be to just type in the new frequency. 450, nothing. So we'll keep working our way up. Thank you. 
So as you notice, we've gone through those seven channels. And so the one for my local area is 162-400. And currently we're indoors, so we're going to have a little, uh, little uh, scratchier of a signal than we typically would if we were outside. If I take this radio and I move closer to the exterior, a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Saturday, southeast winds 10 to 15 knots. You can tell that it increases in signal. So we'll go ahead and turn our volume down and leave this radio there, and we'll move on to our Yezu FT60. So again, we're going to power on the radio. Radio's on. We're going to make sure we're in memory mode by pressing, or excuse me, we're going to check to see what mode we're in using the VM button at the bottom. So we're now in our frequency or VFO mode. Now again, I'm just going to type in the frequency. And I will... little scratchier on this radio, but if we move around, we get a clear signal as we approach the exterior of the structure. So on this radio, if I need to check the other channels to see if I have a better signal, it's a different K, it's a different step, it's a wideband step, so we can just do one click on our scroll knob and check each one of those channels. Also remember on these radios that uh, you want to turn your squelch down a little bit. If your squelch is up real high, you might not get that signal. Although it's legible it, and it is scratchy, it might not break your squelch. So something to remember. So now we're going to do the Wuson UV6D. So if, again, we'll power it up. So again, we're in memory mode. This one's a little trickier to get out of memory mode. The command for that is menu SD, not simultaneously, but one after the other. So now we're in memory mode. I'm going to switch back. Now you can see that's how we toggle it. So now that I am in the frequency mode, I'm going to again punch in the direct channel. 162400. So I have my squelch turned up a little bit. If I move to the edge of the structure, we get a better signal. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 95 degrees, and the normal low is 75. The record high for tomorrow is 100. And again, we'll take our channel knob, a 2.5 kHz step, so it'll take me a little while to scroll through, but I can go through and scroll scroll to the other channels to see if another channel has a better signal for my area. Or again, we can also just do the direct entry. A couple things that you need to remember as you tune these in is these channels are FM wideband. So that's important to be able to receive the best signal. In these radios, the, you can change that in your VFO settings by going into menu, scrolling through, 
until you find your on the UV 6D it's going to be your menu WN setting and I can change that if it's on narrow you want that to be wide and then I can click out and on the Bofang it's a very similar setup menu and I scroll through until I find my narrow wide settings, WN wide. And I'll press menu again. If it's on narrow, you want it to show wide. So I click out of the menu and we're back to normal. Now to check the wide narrow settings for the FT60, we will click function zero to get into our menu and we'll scroll through until we find it. it looks like it's item 55 on this unit and then we'll hit function again and make sure that it is set as wide then function one more time to back out and we're completely backed out there you have it that's how you can tune all seven radio channels into your VHF capable ham radio without having to take up channels. If your radio is not unlocked for receive above the 148 megahertz, you may not be able to tune that channel in in the frequency mode or program it into memory. If you can receive only in the frequency range above 148 megahertz, no modification is required on that radio. All three of these radios out of the box are capable of tuning in to the NOAA weather radio channels without any modification. For those of you who do like quick references, we've created a business size quick card available for download using the link provided in the notes section below completely for free. The card is formatted so that you can print on the Avery business card templates available via Amazon or directly from your local office supply store. If you would like, you can also print on a standard piece of paper or cardstock and just cut it out using a pair of scissors. If this video was useful for you, please like and subscribe so that you'll be able to see future videos when they're posted. Thanks for watching.